Hello folks, I'm OdinSpack33 and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. We now return you to your scheduled program. Okay, we last left off, we got Ash the Bloody onto our team. And we're heading to Belkind. And guess what city this is? You, I bet you can get, take a guess. Guess which one it is? Yeah, it's the city of foam machines. Belkind. Uh, right here, we're looking for any suspicious activity that Van might be up to. Uh, there's a phone machine here. Yeah, that rest here isn't in. Okay. That's cool. I think there's something you can get uh, right now. At the end? No, that's not it. Uh, when there's an event at the end, I already mentioned this, they won't make you pay for anything. Okay, this guy's gonna sell us some junk. I should probably buy some. I got seven life bottles. Nah, I'm fine. What do you, what do you got? Food for Endgave. Or from Endgave. Yeah, I don't really cook. Alright, what are you selling? You sell weapons. He only sells these as long as uh, Ash is in your party. Now look at this. Ash is stuck with the weapons uh, that he's given. You, the only thing you can change on him is his arm equipment, which really blows. Uh, but we are going to get some new weapons here. Okay, we're not going to worry about Guy right now. He's last priority, and you'll understand uh, soon. Okay, what do you Magic cloak? Alright, take that. And some steel bracelets. Some archery gloves. There's a lot of stuff here. Wow. Alright, can we forward the things for Guy? No, we can't. Buying items is... I should have just equipped from there. Buying items is kind of lame. But look, see, Ash, you can't remove uh, the stuff here, which kind of blows. But you can remove his arm uh, accessory here, so... That's some defense he can get. And... Okay, I just bought you... So here's a deck brush we got. It has a higher physical attack, but the phonic attack sucks, so we don't even want that junk. Alright, so we just upgrade everybody except for a uh, guy here. What do you have? Self bow, you got a ruby wand, magic cloak, oh, and it's got mad upgraded. Awesome, now we can sell all this other stuff. Alright, so I had you guys vote on uh, let's plays you want to see in the future I gave you a whole bunch of options and I have tallied up the votes it's been long enough uh, there is a clear winner but there was so much interest in two of the other projects that I'm gonna end up doing three of them and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what they are right now what you have to look forward to in the future I still gotta get through Tales of the Abyss but I'm probably gonna start up one of the other projects once I finish up Diablo Alright, now we can equip Guy. Give him that. Oh, wait, and uh, steel bracelet. Alright, so uh, upon the completion of Diablo, you guys are going to see a let's play of Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance. Yep, you heard it here first. Minish Cap will be coming up after, uh, after Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is almost done too, so that's awesome. And then hopefully I can finish this and Minish Cap at relatively the same time, so I can get started on the other two projects, which will hopefully be, which will hopefully coincide. Only authorized personnel. I've spent a lot of time doing shopping. It's like four minutes right there. I know someone in this town gives you a recipe. I don't know where they are. I think they're back here. Yeah, this guy here. Look at it, he just peeks his head up. That's kind of creepy. Help him. Yeah. So, hopefully once Abyss uh, and Minish Cap are done, you will see Let's Plays of the Soap and Noodles recipe. No, you'll see uh, Let's Plays of Donkey Kong Country Returns and the Pokemon Trading Card Game. So those are going to be my Let's Plays coming up in the future. Thank you to everyone who voted on uh, what they wanted to see. Minish Cap did win. It won by about 10 votes, I would say. But I mean, or maybe 15. I don't know. It was definitely the winner. 
But I, I really, okay, we can't get through here actually yet. But there was a lot of interest in the other games, so I figured I would uh, do both. Or all three, or three of them. No one wanted to see Mega Man. I got like maybe one or two votes for X and 9. So I didn't really get a lot of votes for that. And I can't remember how to get around this place, to be honest. This place sucks. It's a maze. Some Kirby would hate it. <laughs> Replica laboratory. Or laboratory. However you want to pronounce it. If you want to be like Dexter of Dexter's lab. Say laboratory. Get DD out of here. But basically you have to come over here. Yeah, I remember where I'm going. Luke! No. Ash! Huh. So the traitor to Kim Laska still lives here in this city. What a joke. What do you mean, traitor? This guy was involved in my kidnapping. Don't tell me you're the one who broke the ban on Phonakry. It's just as you imagine, Jade. Jade! The necromancer! Applying Pharmacree to living creatures is forbidden. Every Pharmacree researcher longs to try it at least once. You're no different, Jade Curtis. Or should I say, Dr. Jade Balfour. You're the father of Pharmacree. You made dozens of replicas. I won't deny it. I am the one who proposed the principles of Pharmacree. Then you have no right to criticize me. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm not interested in mutual wound licking. I have no intention of covering for someone just because they've committed the same sin as I. I'm well aware of what I've done. That's why I forbade it. The replication of living organisms presented both technical and ethical problems. You, a pharmacry researcher, should know well the fate of the first replicas of living creatures. I... I only... All I did was help with Van's preservation project. I figured if all we were doing was recording the replica information... Preservation project? What are you talking about? You didn't know? Tell us! I can't. I shouldn't have mentioned it at all. Oh, I thought there was going to be a cutscene there or something after that. Yeah, so turns out Jade is the guy behind Replicas. Plot twist. <laughs> it's not good. We're at a phononym nim nim. Phononym. Alright, so basically that's saying where we gotta go. We're eight minutes in. Let's give Jade his new title of Father of Fama Creed. Just because. Why not? I feel like it. Is this a skit there? I ain't doing no skits this episode. I'm sorry if you want to see skits. But that select button is going to get awful lonely down there today. I want to get into action because we can. We can definitely get into the next dungeon. And we can definitely start wrecking guys up with Ash. Which is the best part of this part of the game. Why is Van collecting replica data? What does he plan to do with it? Well, I'd assume he's going to make replicas. We're going to Orshan Cavern. The cave on the western continent of Redesia? But why? I presume he intends to investigate the replica issue. Phonamine can be gathered there. And? And? Well, you know, Redesia is Kimloskin territory. Malkuth can't interfere. Dist was originally a researcher from Malkuth. It's a logical place for him to go after stealing Pharmacree technology. Enough talk. Let's get going. Boo! Do you really think we should go, Ion? Yes. For now, let's do what he says. I'm getting off here. Why? I'm worried about Luke. I have to go back for him. I don't believe you. Who cares about that idiot? I do, because he's an idiot. I don't know what he'd do alone. And 
I have faith that he can get past this. Guy, you're Luke's attendant and his friend. The real Luke is right here. This may be the real Luke, but my friend is that idiot. Thanks, Guy. It's up to you if you want to go back for him. But how do you intend to return to Yulia City? Aramis Spring. It's a cave northwest of Doth. If the replica comes back to the Outer Lands, he'll pass through there. Thanks, Ash. Huh. I knew you'd choose him. Did Van tell you? Well, that's not the only reason. What are you talking about? Nothing. See ya. Luke, aren't you going to stop him? Don't call me by that name. It's no longer mine. Alright, so that's why I didn't really care if we equipped Guy. Guy leaves. Good for him. No, Guy's awesome. It's a shame he left. But, it's not like I'm really going to use him when I get to use Ash. Like, what, what am I, what's the game thinking here? Okay, let me make sure everyone who's fighting is set to do stuff. Uh, yeah, they're all good. Alright, so let's rock and roll. I might as well take uh, Ash's spells off, too. Because they're useless. He has no phonic attack. If you were playing on normal difficulty, they might be more useful, I would say. We could fight this guy. But instead, I would rather go to the dungeon. So let's go there. Let's go to Port Belkind. I don't think there's too many cutscenes. I think we just kind of go and... That's that. What time are we at? 12 minutes. I'm gonna keep checking just cuz. That's what I love. I love about this game. It shows you how long you've been playing since you last loaded it. Oh man, it's just beautiful for a timer. Just great. <laughs> okay, uh, Oration Cavern, I think, isn't too far from here. I think it's, uh. Where is it? Somewhere along this thing here. If I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. But I don't think I am. I think it's actually right in here. I could be completely wrong. We're gonna find out in a second here. This is a weird angle though. To be honest, I don't remember this at all, so I don't think it's actually in here. Oh, okay, yeah, this is definitely where it is, but where we are right now is actually a place we're going to come much, much, much later in the game. Yeah, this is really later in the game. Yeah, so Oration Cavern is here, but uh, it's not in the spot we were at, so this was a waste of time. Isn't a waste of time fun? You get to see this weird, trippy camera angle over the top as we get out of this river here. Yeah, Serration Cavern is around here somewhere. Just hug the wall here. We'll find it. I'm guessing on somewhere on this in inside of here. Probably. Yeah, it's definitely in here somewhere. There we go. Okay, that's a whirlpool. It's here! Kid you not. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> they didn't really explain where it was though, did they? I just kind of knew where to go. That's the only problem with this game is they don't explain things too well at certain points. It's awfully damp in here. It's probably because of the sea breeze. Please wait in the Tartarus, Ion. But I'm interested too. No, it's too dangerous. Go back, Phone Master. You'll be in our way. Oh, well. Go ahead and take him with you. 
Are you stupid? What are we going to do with someone who can't fight? Let's go inside. Guy leaves, I can still care less though. Okay, so we got a treasure chest here. Ruby wand, that'll actually be useful. Uh, so, it's actually good that we just bought the one. I don't have, I'm sure I don't have to explain too much that we will be getting Luke and Tira back. <laughs> so, finding equipment for them is alright in my book. I wonder what those are. Are you okay? Yes. Yes. I'm fine. Thank you, Ash. Jade, do you recognize them? Well, biology is not exactly my specialty. Hmm. They don't appear to be indigenous to the area, and they seem odd for a new species. Looks like this may not go easily. Let's go. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna fight in. And there's not a safe point near here, I don't think. There's one up there. Ah, we can fight this and then end the episode. That sounds like fun. So we got here some thunder bats. Alright, I can't remember what skills I got set here. Okay, lightning blade's probably not a good idea. <laughs> they probably like wind. And I say wind, not lightning, because if you remember... There is no lightning element in this game. It's fire, wind, water, and earth. And then dark and light. I don't have Havoc Strikes yet, do I? I got the... Oh, I was gonna use the uh, Lightning Tiger Blade. Another wind spell or skill, why not? <laughs> Alright guys, but we are gonna have to wrap it up here. I'm gonna run back and save it. So thank you for watching. Uh, Tells the Abyss. And I'll see you next time for another episode. So until then, later.